Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to do an exercise called finders keepers. So we're going to create a function that looks through an array of the first argument and returns the first element in the array that passes a truth test, the second argument. If no element passes the test, return undefined. So we want to remember to use research asks if we get stuck, try to pair program and write your own. So we want to find the element with the array and then this is the uh, value that must return true. So return number is evenly divisible by two is equal to zero. So they only want even numbers. So this would return eight because eight is the first even number in the array. Um, cool. So let's say uh, it returns the first element in the array that passes for true. Okay, so what we want to do is iterate through the array. So we're going to go array, or we're going to say for uh, let i equals zero, i is less than array dot length, i plus equals one. So now we're iterating through each of the elements. And then our next step is going to be to pass each of the elements into the function. So the function, um, and then we're going to pass in the um, array at position i. And then what we want to say is if function array at position of i is equal to true, well, we don't even have to say true. We can just say if the if it's true, then we want to return the um, array at position i. Otherwise, we want to return undefined. Now let's console.log this. And we're going to get undefined because none of these numbers are even. Well, first off, let's just see if we're getting this right. Now, this is wrong. What, I, there's definitely something wrong here. So we should be like console.log. Let's first off make sure our array at position i is working. Gee, oh, I always do that in length. Okay, cool. Okay, so now we're iterating through. Our array at position i is is one, two. And then because two is returned, so that's what's happening. We're, we're returning two because two is evenly divisible. This is passing into the function the um, two. And because two modulo two is equal to zero, then we're returning that position. So yeah, this will pass the tests. So let's go over this again, just to kind of uh, make it as clear as possible. So, um, we're being passed in a function, and then in a, uh, first off, we're passed in an array, and then a function. In this example here, we're looking for even numbers. Because all of these are odd numbers, this is, should return undefined. Um, let's console log that. Now, this is going to be undefined. So what's happening here? So here, we're going through each of the elements of the array, array, one, and then three, and then five, and then nine, and we're passing them into this function. And so one, modelo two, is equal to one. Three modello two is equal to one. Five modello two is equal to one. Nine modello uh, two is equal to one. And so because none of these render out to be true, we don't hit this point and we just move down to here and return undefined. Now, if we were to pass in this element at the beginning, you can see if we were to console dot log array at position i, we're going one, three, five, eight. Now, why do we stop at eight? Because eight, modello two, so two, four, six, eight. That means what's the, what's the remainder from eight divided by two? It's equal to zero. So because that's zero, then we execute the code in here. And our return statement exits the for loop and the if statement. And so now our function has returned the value um, at which it returns true in this one. And so if we were to get rid of this console log, we can see clearly that that result is the number eight, which is what we're looking for. Anyways, hope this helps. Uh, we're on the test. It seemed they passed. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.